हेलो किड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अनदर स्टोरी ऑफ पंचतंत्र एंड टुडे स्टोरी टाइटल इज गॉड ऑफ द ट्री इन अ विलेज देयर वर टू फ्रेंड्स यूज टू लिव टुगेदर राजू एंड रमन राजू वाज वेरी ऑनेस्ट हार्ड वर्किंग एंड अ गुड ह्यूमन बीइंग ऑन द अदर हैंड रमन वाज इवल ruthless and rookie kind of person one day raman thought that raju is very hard working but no one can beat me in executing different different plans and play clever tricks if we both work together so we can do wonders i will take him to the town so we both can earn huge amount of money and very cleverly i will take all his money so he went to raju and asked my dear friend i have a great plan for both of us so we can have a great future so what's your plan raman please tell me fast i am thinking that we shall go to the town and earn lots of money we don't know but any time we can be needing money Family's responsibility is too. You are absolutely right. There is nothing possible without money. I am ready to come with you. Next day, they started for the town, and fortunately, got the job very next day from a businessman. They worked there for a long time. One day, they were talking to each other. My friend. It's been one year working and earning in this town. Now we earn a good amount of money. I think we should go back to our village now. Hmm. You are absolutely right. We shall move back tomorrow. I am missing my family and friends too. Next day, they both started to move back with their hard-earned money. They had to go through a jungle to the village. When they just reached the halfway, Suraman asked Raju, "Raju, I think we should carry only few amount of money to the village, and rest of the amount we should dig in the jungle." Why? What happened now? Both friends digs in the rest of the money under a banyan tree and went to the village. From the beginning, Raman's intuitions was snatch Raju's money. At the same night, he went to the jungle and stole the whole money. After some days, Raman went to Raju and asked him, "Raju, my friend, please let's go to the jungle. I need some money. What happened, friend? Why you need the money so soon?" I have an urgent work. I'm in great need. You please come with me. Okay, let's go. Both friends went to the jungle and started digging under the banyan tree. But as Raman digged out, he found there is nothing left. He jumped in shock and shouts, "Hey, where is the all money gone? Somebody has digged out before us and stolen all the money." Raju, you are the only one who has stolen all my hard-earned money. Only you are the one who knows about this place. What? What are you saying? Believe me, I have not stolen the money. Please trust me. Don't tell lie. You only have stolen my money. I want my money back. Otherwise, I will take this matter to the jury. Raju tried his best to convince Raman. He was not ready to listen and took this matter to the jury. The jury said, "Headman, Raju has stolen all my hard-earned money and refusing it. Now you do the justice, sir." "No, no, headman, please trust me. I am innocent. I have not stolen anything." After listening to both of you, it is difficult to come to any conclusion. because both of you don't have any witness proof or evidence to prove guilty or innocent no no headman i have a witness of raju that he has stolen all my money i am not yelling without any reason sir 
all jury members looked at each other. So Raman, who is the witness? Headman, a god has been residing within the banyan tree for centuries. Where we dig our money, he must have seen Raju when he stole the money. If asked about the thief, he surely going to help us. After listening to Raman, Headman was convinced that this is some kind of Raman's trick. He assembled all villagers and take them to the place where both of them dig in the money. After reaching to spot. Headman asked to God of Tree. God of Tree, please tell us that who has stolen money out of these two. Now the whole decision is in your hand. As Headman asked, immediately a voice comes out from the tree. The stealing and crime has been done by Raju. He is the one. After listening this, all villagers were shocked. and surprised they all looked at each other suddenly headman asked raju to collect some dry wooden stick and asked raju to keep them all around the tree raju do one thing put all the sticks on fire as raju puts all the stick on fire all the villagers looking at the tree They saw an old man begin to cough while he looked out from the tree. <laughs> This old man was none other than Raman's father, whom Raman made to hide in tree shed. Head man with a smile on his face told Raman, "From the beginning, I knew this is some kind of your trick." I have created all this drama so all the villagers can understand that how clever and sly you are. Raman got very embarrassed. Please forgive me. I had become very greedy. I had bad intentions for Raju's money and put wrong and false blames on him. I will return all his money. Please forgive me my friend. Then Raman apologized to all villagers. So the moral of the story is that We should be kind to all and not to harm anyone. If you enjoyed this video, do like, share and comment and to be the first person to watch our videos, make sure to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for timely notifications.